What's good everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to another episode of Will on a Whim. Today's video, we are gonna be trying My L Organics, also known as Mikael Mikokornig. Today's another video of me trying a brand that I haven't tried in the past, but has definitely been hyped up. Like it's been in my sphere, in my awareness, but it hasn't necessarily made it up in, onto my product shelf. Also, the girls over here, the, my neighbors over here playing NFL or something on the top floor. It's, it's shaking my whole house right now, I'm scared. <laughs> so, somebody just got tackled. Call the police. Okay, truthfully though, they sent me this. Girl! Yeah, they sent me this. But I have not had a chance to try out the products yet. So they sent me this ahead of time. And so I have all of the products here. It's the Hawaiian Ginger line. I don't know if y'all like that one. <laughs> like, what's the tea? Cause y'all tell me tea, what's the tea? I feel like they have a pomegranate line or something like that. It's in a pink bottle. I think that's like their kind of flagship uh, line. So at some point, if I like these products, I'll try that one. But what do we have here, girl? Behind door number one, we have the moisturizing and anti-breakage shampoo and the conditioner. I love these kind of tall, sleek, easy to pump out situations. Next up we have this moisturizing leave-in conditioner and a moisturizing hair butter. I feel like when people put these things in a line together, I'm like, what? what? What's, the What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? I mean, to my eyes, they kind of look the same. This, this, the conditioner looked like it could be the same product all in the same, in different bottles. But if I was shopping for this, like in Target, I would choose a hair butter if I was high porosity. And I would choose a leave-in conditioner if I was low porosity. Cause this it, butter to me signifies thicker. And then we also have something I ain't never seen ever before, which is a moisturizing overnight conditioner. Mm -hmm. I don't know about this one, Mikael. 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 I don't know how healthy it is for your hair to be leaving something in it overnight. But my other organics, they really are queens of innovation and entrepreneurship. They are making this for their consumers. The natural hair community likes to leave stuff in their hair overnight. So they were like, there you go. <laughs> Since y'all be doing it anyway. And then we have, I think the more exciting products for me because I like stylers, um, the moisturizing styling gel. Very simple names here. They're all just moisturizing conditioner, moisturizing shampoo, and then a scalp treatment. This whole thing came to me kind of like almost, maybe it's because it's cold outside and it was early in the morning, but it came to me really cold. The products were all cold and I kind of liked that. It was like chilled wine, you know what I mean? So this actually came to me hard and frozen. Yeah, Elsa. I need to take this hairstyle down immediately because this was actually just, I needed to brush it up real quick and throw it on something before this intro. But now I'm gonna go into the shower and meet you back here to try the styling products. Bye, have fun in the shower, don't slip. Don't slip. Break a leg, guys. What is your side of me? I said break a leg, guys. I don't wanna break a leg. I'm gonna get the part, that's what I'm gonna do. Girl, the hair is punching and kicking and yanking on my scalp, tugging, tugging. But it's okay because we are gonna deal with her. I fight kids. Like, look at the br- Oh my God, okay, it's not that serious. Why well, I look like I'm on the set of Runaway Love by Ludacris and Mary J. <laughs> Girl. Let me go ahead and quickly rinse my hair and pull out the shampoo and get this party started. I'm gonna give you all my opinions on the shampoo and the conditioner just after this, but now that my hair is all rinsed out, I conditioned, duh. What you thought I was gonna say? Next I'm gonna perm my hair? Or next I poured a whole bottle of Pump It Up spray in there? No, silly. But this is how my hair was looking after I rinsed out the conditioner. And um, now here are my actual thoughts because that's pretty much it. And we are back out of the shower. You know what? I'm using a, a new microphone and it's kind of suspended up in the air right here, like pink at a concert. Usually I test out equipment before I use it, but hopefully it sounds good, girl. I'm gonna be real mad if I spend all this money and it don't work. Cause I throw hands, I fight kids. Can you imagine a kid sold me this microphone? I'll fight them. Pow. Let's talk about this shampoo and this conditioner. It was great, it was fine. Any shampoo and any conditioner that just like cleans your hair and moisturizes is good in my book. Not too many shampoos or conditioners that like really blow me away. If it has slip and if it has like some cleanser in the shampoo, okay, it's good, you know what I mean? That's why I'd be like, stylers are my favorite product because that's where I feel like the girls cook in the kitchen and that's where the talent shines through. So let's move on to styling my hair. I'm just gonna do a simple wash and go today to test the validity of this product. I'm gonna use the leave-in conditioner, not the hair butter. Although it is getting to be winter time and I feel like heavier butters kind of work better. For me, to me, <laughs> in the winter time. And then um, I'm gonna go in with the style, the style and gel. What I will say is interesting about this gel is that there's no carbomer in it. It says no carbomer, what is that? No carbomer, no alcohol, no crunch or flaking. What if I wanted the crunch, Mayel? What if I wanted the crunch? But carbomer to me is like the thickener. Right, the thing that makes the gel thick. So let me see how thick it is. Oh God, is she shaking? 
Oh, I was in the shower actually. The product smell really good. This is like really fragrant. <coughs> this is too fragrant to like sniff out of the bottle. Maybe when you put it on, it's a little less concentrated. This is giving Hawaiian ginger. It's like very Sprite in Hawaii. Let's go ahead and apply this little bit of leave-in conditioner. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Strangely, it kind of feels like lotion, but in a good way. She's not sitting on my hair like she don't got nothing to do. Get your up and work. It's very moisturizing. I just got out of the shower. My hair is still a little bit wet. Let's go ahead with the gel. She's just like that. Nice. She's really jelly. All right, Maya. Let's see what you got going on. Mikael. Mikael. <laughs> Deserves all the money. Okay. This is a hit. You're beautiful. Yeah, this is a hit. Thank God, I was so scared. I was scared for a second. I was like, oh my God, I don't think it's gonna be like a gel that I like because the, it's not that thick. <laughs> I'm so thankful. Oh my God, I was so scared. She got the clumpage, the shine, and it smells good. She three for three, I'm scared. I'm losing. How she lo How I'm losing? <laughs> I lost the game. Hey, y'all sit back, relax. I'm gonna apply the rest of this product. I'm gonna come back. Tell you how I feel if anything changed, and then diffuse, and we'll see the final result. That's not, that's not Michael. Like, I mean, the way y'all talked about this brand, I expected literally nothing less. If I found out that y'all was lying, I think I would have had to shut y'all down. Yeah, power off. This gel did not come into play. I would say that this is the perfect leave-in conditioner. It's not too heavy, it's not sitting on top of my hair, and my hair smells good. So, I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse. I haven't diffused in a long time. I diffused like a small part of my hair for um, a video I filmed like two days ago. And I was like, hold up. Hold on. Why haven't I been doing this? What's wrong with me? I'm using my Eva NYC blow dryer with the Uvidad. Sorry, Uvidad. I don't know why I keep pronouncing that wrong. Get that lady name right. Get it right or get out, okay? It's Uvidad. We live. You know what? My bad. Anyway, I'm putting this on here and um, I really like this attachment. I do think it do something different than what most attachments do. It look a little bit silly, I ain't gonna lie, but let's get into it. I'm gonna throw on the latest episode of The Read and I'll see y'all on the flip side. Energy is fire. Conversation is right. If you say tonight, baby, I might let you. She's very much shook by this. I, I would say that my hair is 99% dry. I never know when I'm like diffusing, when I'm using like mild heat. I don't know if this is just like really moisturized hair and like the product was melted and so it feels moisturized and thereby kind of wet. Okay. Or if it's really just wet. Other way, are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking serious right now? She's shiny, she's defined, she is the moment. So I looked in the mirror just now and I realized that my hair is not dry. I only diffused for five minutes, so obviously it's not dry. I'm gonna let it air dry for the rest of the way because I'm bored, but I do wanna pin it in the way that I would like it to dry. Okay, so I'm gonna let it air dry a little bit. I don't imagine that it'll look any different than what it do right now, but I'll be back in like a few hours. And we're back at WMBC, your local news at nine. Today we have Will with his watch and go. He's completely finished, I'm done. Everything did its job. The shampoo and the conditioner is still upstairs in the shower. I'm gonna keep it there. Easy, the shampoo ate, conditioner ate. They was feasting. Two for one at Applebee's. Now I got this leave-in conditioner and this gel. The leave-in conditioner, perfect leave-in conditioner. For real? Yeah, I haven't used a like, serious leave-in conditioner in a while, like be for real. I love me a good curl enhancer. So nice to know that leave-in conditioners are still out there and putting in work. This gel smells really good. It's a really concentrated smell. Don't smell, I'm not gonna open it, don't open it. Yeah, cause the smell is a lot. But when you put it on your hair, it does smell really good and it's not as concentrated of a smell. I think what I'm most sugar about is the fact that there's no carbomer in here, yet it gave me definition. Like it still was giving what my Wetline Extreme Gel does. There's literally nothing I can say bad about this. I don't know about these other products, I haven't tried them. The hair butter, I surmise it's good. And the overnight moisturizer, I don't know about this, I don't know if I'm gonna try that. Let me know what y'all's experience with Myel is. Are there any other products from any of the other lines that you think 
I should really try, like for real. And that'll be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And if you wanna stick around and be my friend, be my homie, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, not Snapchat. Definitely follow me on my second YouTube channel, Will on a Win More, and TikTok at Will on a Win. Hope to see you back here real soon for another episode of Will on a Win, but until then, bye.